breaking news alert. We have breaking news. The security guard who police say knocked a man unconscious at Tent Roof a few weeks ago just had his license suspended. Good evening. I'm Marius Payton. I'm Lauren Lowry. Austin Turner is still on life support. And after this incident, a mom whose son died at the hand of security says changes need to be made to a law her son's death initiated. I'm Marissa Sulik explains what she wants to see. As people walk into Tin Roof on Demumbrian this afternoon, they may not know this is where Metro Police say 26 year old Austin Turner was knocked unconscious by a security guard. It happened after he was denied reentry to the bar. He is now fighting for his life at Vanderbilt University Medical Center with his family beside him. Its physician, Tammy Barrett, knows well. I mean, it's absolutely insane that another uh, young human being has to go through something like this. It's been almost three years since her son Dallas Barrett lost his life at a Broadway bar. That's where a group of security guards were accused of suffocating him to death. A couple years ago, Tammy worked with lawmakers to pass Dallas's law. It would require security guards to get extra training in things like de-escalation and self-restraint. I am going to be reaching out to lawmakers, which had actually been going through my head a week or so ago that I think we need to do some tweaks to Dallas's law. The need for change comes after she learned police say 36 year old Richard Cornelius hit Turner. But the fact that, you know, you have to punch somebody so hard that you put them on the ground and they're not getting back up. That's that's not that's not a de-escalation technique that we need to have. We found through the Tennessee Department of Commerce and Insurance Cornelius became a licensed security guard in 2022. Dallas's law started a year later. It requires guards at places that serve alcohol to get the training every two years. The TDCI says they aren't sure if Cornelius had that training. The way the law is written, he wasn't required to have it completed yet. Barrett told me there may be reasons why certain security guards haven't taken it. I know there has there was an influx of people needing to take the classes. They didn't have enough instructors. So, um, you know, there might be some things that need to be worked out. To work it out, she says, it's going to take not just her family, but those of Austin's too. We need to join hands and get together and push our lawmakers to be more, um, to help them to be more efficient for these new laws, more, more laws. In Midtown, Marissa Sulek, WSMV4. Marissa Sulek joins us now. And Marissa, you just found out more about the history of tin roof security. We did, Marius. Yes, the TDCI confirmed in 2022 there were 11 security guards that did not have their licenses. They tell me that Cornelius was actually one of them. Wow, Marissa Sulek, thanks for staying on top of this story.